Hello class, this is Professor Quigley and I am excited to be your professor for Computer Programming Logic and Design, CIS 110. In this video, I am going to give you a brief overview of exactly what to expect in this course, give you a little tour around the course shell and let you know exactly how you can get an A in my class. <laughs> Alright, well the first thing I want to do is show you exactly where to find everything. So the first thing, I want you to come over here and click Course Info. In here you're going to find some awesome information about myself, but most importantly, my phone number. Here you can call or text anytime, just know if it's in the middle of the night, I might be sleeping. Over here, I have a little section that I would like you to read that talks about if you have any technical problems or any problems understanding how to do the assignments in Zybooks. To put it simply, I want you to post your questions in the discussion threads. I really want our conversations in the discussion threads to be meaningful. I would rather have you come into the discussion threads and say, hey, I'm having problems with number two or number three in, in week two, and then have myself or other students chime in to help you. Having that conversation is going to keep the discussion threads real as if we were in an on-site class together. Plus, it's really going to help us learn from each other because that's what you do in the real world. Also, I want to point out down here that we have a grading assistant in this class. So I will not be grading your assignments. Um, Professor Lawrence will be. So if you have any questions about your grade, reach out to him. And then, of course, you can always reach out to me as needed as well. Over here, we have a student guide. Most of your detailed questions, if you're that type of person and you want to know everything there is to know about this course, you will find it right there. However, Zybooks. This is the most important thing of this class. In Zybooks, this is an ebook that you have to purchase from the bookstore. In here, you're going to get an access code in which that's going to allow you to click in um, and complete the assignments. And I promise you, I promise you, as much as I can help you get an A in this class, it is mathematically impossible if you don't buy that code. Because when you add up all the points, and you don't participate, you just can't get a passing grade in this class. So please make sure you buy that. Also, if you go down here, you will see we have the attendance policy, the late policy, academic integrity. Please, please, please don't just copy stuff off the internet. Um, even though you could go to the internet and do some research to help you understand some topics, I ask that at least 51% of your post, if not more, is in your own words. Only quote just a little bit. And each week, um, we'll go to, let's take a look at week three, for example. In here, you'll notice that you have links for the participation activities. When you are going to Zybooks, make sure you are clicking the link from within Zybooks. This is that link that you have to click. When you go to the challenge activities, I promise you, if you don't take the time to read what's written in the participation activities, you will be lost. Where you learn and where you study has to be in the participation activities. Also with the challenge activities, I encourage you to click these and watch them. As you click them and watch them, you will be able to get a helpful guide that literally walks you through how to do every step within those challenge activities. Um, also, we have a pseudocode document. This is where, and you'll learn this after you get through week one, where we give you the instructions on what it is you need to do. You just need to convert that pseudocode into actual programming code. All right, if we go to week one and we scroll down to where it says the week one discussions, you will notice that I always kick us off with a topic over here. Please make sure when you make your discussion post that you address all the talking points that I ask you. Um, it's very important because these discussion threads um, you have to prove to me that you have a solid understanding. It's perfectly okay if you read the discussion post at the beginning of the week and you decide that, you know what, I really don't understand what this discussion post is about. That's okay. Do a little bit of research and then try to put it back into your own words and we're going to help you. And then when you go to respond to another student, make sure that you are added new knowledge because you're not the professor. You're not the one grading it, so don't give it a grade and say, hey, great job, good job, um, I agree, 
Um, make sure that when you respond, what I'm looking for for full credit is that you add something new, new knowledge that wasn't included in the previous post that you're replying to. With that, um, let me know if you guys need anything. I am 100% happy to help. I am here for you. I will be posting videos throughout the week that teach you how to do some of the concepts we're learning. So take care, and I look forward to seeing you in the discussion threads.